in diameter. Jack, are you going around that rim of the crater up there? I was just uh, looking at rocks. Well, okay. Are we we want to have pan before I leave back there. Oh, yeah, we need to see if we can get some of this up floor. I'm not sure I understand what's happened here yet. Well, uh, this should have brought up sub floor, according to the theory. And it hasn't. That looks like some of the, look at some of the bretches, the blue bretches with the white, uh, big old slabby white, uh, with a fracture face with the yeah. uh, white inclusion down there. Yeah, down in the floor, too. Yeah. Yeah, it, it has that appearance, all right. Hey, Gene? Do you see that rock, rock that, that rock that's fractured in sort of a pyramid shape down there? Out here on the right, the right end of the, of the floor down there, that big one? Yeah. It's sort of pointing west, yeah. pointing east. That's a unique fracture, isn't it? Uh, Roger, and there's another one that fractured. And, uh, we'd like to move in you from here in about 10 minutes, so we probably better be trending back towards the rover unless you're seeing something really great out there. Well, hey Bob, we ought to we ought to find out whether or not we got whether what the rock is here. If you got a little time, Roger, so I'm, put you, got, you got 10 oh, minutes. I'm, uh, I'm just telling you to start thinking about getting back. Yeah, we're always thinking that way. Okay, Bob, one thing I noticed we do uncover, there's a lot of, oh, uh, two, three, four millimeter size uh, fragments of glass we're kicking up all over the place. Yeah. Little glass hey, balls. Hey, Gene? Almost like tailies. Gene? Yeah. Can you come over here? I think there's some subfloor here. We ought to, okay. We ought to turn.